Hey guys, it's Jennifer. All right, so we have a very important video today about what's going on. It looks like Russia and China are absolutely fed up. They're fed up and they're no longer dealing with our foolishness. So I'm going to try to go through everything and get you to understand what's going on. But what I want you to know right, right off the bat is don't be shocked if Russia or China starts throwing missiles at the United States or at military bases. Because yesterday, in not so many terms, that's essentially what, he's, what Putin said. And I'm not one of those, oh, Russia, it's Russia, it's Russia. No, I'm not. But there's only so much that people can sit around and watch you destroy other countries, take advantage of other countries before someone says enough is enough, especially when they have interests in their country. Then we have the DOD put out a number of how many troops that it would need to overtake Caracas, which is Venezuela's capital. 30,000 troops is what they estimated. Some people might be shocked. I'm not shocked because that's how many, if not more, that it would take. I would actually say around a lot more. Why? People are confused about this. They say it's only a country of 30 million people. How is that possible? They have a national militia, which is essentially proud Venezuelans, just like here if someone was to try to invade our country, we wouldn't just sit back and say, the military's got it. Most of us would take up arms and say, absolutely not. And that's what their militia is. Plus they have their, their military. Let's look at a poll real quick that I put up a few days ago. Right here. Okay, I asked if the president of China Xing Jinping, whatever his name is, went on television and stated to our military, if you continue to support your commander-in-chief, there will be consequences. And if you don't support AOC, Alexandra Cortez, then this won't be easy. There will be no easy way to get out of this. If China did that to us, these are the results of what people said. I said, would you bow down to China or would you and say absolutely not, it's time to, you're not going to tread on our constitution, even if you don't agree with the current president. That is our constitution. You don't just come and invade our country. You don't tell us what to do. Well, that's exactly what our president did to the Venezuelan military the other day in Miami. He made those exact words and said if they do not support this American trained puppet Juan Guaido, then there will be consequences, meaning we will invade. How, how does that make any sense? I thought this was a humanitarian issue, right? You, you can't have it both ways. If this was a humanitarian issue, why would he even be discussing this with the military? Why, if we feel that we are such a superpower and can just overthrow them, like Angry Cops' video and making fun of the Venezuelan military and oh, they're just a joke and all of this. If they were such a joke, why are we trying to bribe their generals? Why are we trying to get their entire military to commit treason, become traitors to their country? If we can just handle it with like, angry cop said or something we can just send in the boy scouts or something
this will pale into comparison of Vietnam. Definitely Iraq and Afghanistan. You think the numbers are high with our soldiers dying in Iraq and Afghanistan? It's going to be nothing. It's going to be like an ordinary Tuesday. That's why I'm so passionate about trying to get this message out. Yet people still sit around, not share this stuff, and say, oh, but, uh, well, I don't. Why? Why? If you are in the military, if you know somebody in the military, you might want to forward this to them. If this was humanitarian aid and they really were starving and needed our help, we could just drop food boxes out of planes. We could just leave the food right there. Y'all come get it. But that's not what they're doing. They're using the food as essentially like, you know, a mouse trap. You won't get food unless you betray your country. That's what's going on. And in the media, it's all over the media talking about the bridge. This evil dictator, he has blocked off the bridge so nobody can get aid. That's absolutely false. That bridge has never been open. It, they had issues with the tons of Colombians coming through there with their drug smuggling and all of that. And so they never opened it. I've gone through this in a different video and I've showed the pictures of it. You can see on the Google satellite of the barricades that have been there for years, but they want you to believe that this is an evil dictator starving his people. And I know people are gonna say, oh, but what about the people on TV that are saying that they want our help? Those people live in Miami. Most of them, yeah. They are the rich people from Venezuela that moved to Miami or other places. Those are the ones that you're hearing about, hearing from. Why? Because they don't want to share, essentially. They want the poor people to stay poor. Because this is what President Evil Dictator Maduro and Hugo Chavez did. Whenever Hugo Chavez took power, he took over the oil companies, the natural resources. And he said, look, we're writing a new constitution. This is how it's going to be. This is for the people. Our resources are for the people. We like to think that America is like that. We're far from it. See, in Venezuela, the only sovereign Christian nation still standing without a Rothschild International Monetary Bank. Make sure you remember that because that's, that's really what this is all about. What they did with their natural resources is, let me give you a scenario. Okay, so let's say you own some land here in the States and Chevron or somebody comes and says, hey, I think you might have oil on your land. Can we test it? They find oil on the land. You get a chunk of it, right? 20%, whatever it is. Awesome. Well, but in Venezuela, their constitution that was passed with a, you know, a few people voting. Like here we have, like half the country does not vote. There, the majority, almost everybody votes, okay? 70% agreed to this new constitution back in 99. And so in this constitution, it plainly says that the resources from under the ground and under if they find in the ocean within their borders let me just say within their borders belongs to the people of Venezuela and so 
when Sitco, Conoco, Valero, Exxon, all of these places come down there, they're going to have to split the profits, okay? So if they make a million dollars off of something, they have to give 500000 to the Venezuelan people.